Now, viewers, this is our controversial thesis. This Anas Arimiyao Anas is responsible for what has happened, the emptiness of Ghana football. It's Anas Arimiyao Anas. What did he do? He hoodwinked everybody, dribbled everybody, deceived everybody into creating an image for himself and bringing down uh, Kusinya Antichi. Anas brought Kusinya Antichi from here to here. Kusinya Antichi was here. Anas brought him to here based on what? Lies. Based on what? Fabrications. Based on what? Concoctions. Because they had a penchant for an, an unhealthy penchant and appetite for glass. And who are the guilty parties? Here, Anas Arimiya and this Kisi Ajabi, they are the guilty parties. They are the two people responsible for the emptiness of our football. Kisi Ajabi was standing there. Kusin Techi had appointed him as a committee chairman of the Football Association because he was a brilliant up-and-coming lawyer. He was in the company of Kusin Techi in Dubai when Techi walked into the deadly trap of this Anas Arimiya Anas. This wicked man. Wicked. He has a pension for glass, an appetite for glass. What is journalism? Read it, analyze it, discuss it, and tell us a story. He puts cameras on his body, sat Kusin Techi down with some regular guy from the streets, as Kennedy Japan says, it, regular guy in the streets of Dubai, put him down and says, Mr. Techi, come. Why was it? Techi was extremely successful with Ghana football. I had been speaking to him forever. He was passionate about the local league. Anas Arimiya Anas. Arranged to call him that somebody in Dubai wanted to sponsor the local league. He paid his own ticket and went to the person in Dubai. Because of his relationship, today he's not present again, we can say it. Because of his relationship with footballer Jojo Ponria, who had been president of Liberia, Kusin Techi went to Dubai and said, you want to sponsor me? I also need to sponsor Jojo Ponria. He's running for president of Liberia. He's a member of the football community and we love him. He, he took Jojo Ponria there twice. They didn't meet the businessman because of Ponria was there. They knew what they wanted to do. They were not sponsoring the Ghana League at all. They were not giving any money to sponsor the Ghana League. They wanted to find a way to disgrace Kusin Techi so that Anas would be able to eat up his glass. Anas will eat up his glass. He goes to stand in Germany. And German children, small, small German children, are now pointing to his dishonesty. He stands before them and says he makes money from likes and ticks. He doesn't have a single studio. This table, he doesn't have some. Anas doesn't have a single studio to do video, to do likes and ticks. Criminals! He doesn't have a studio to do likes and ticks. German children expose him. The story is like the young child who saw Peter at the crucifixion of Jesus and said, you are one of them. And Peter said, I'm not. A small child embarrassed and disgraced Anas in Germany. He asked him, where do you get your money from? Then he's there, sheepishly looking, telling lies. Say, I get my money from likes and ticks. Newspaper, crusading guy, could go back by his likes and ticks. Has Anas got studio before? Has Anas produced a television program before to get likes and ticks? Total criminality. And today we are complaining. Kwesin Techi had a team. Why all stars? I sat in Alisa Hotel with him, not far from here. He would call me and say, Paulus, come. I said, where are you? He said, I'm in Alisa Hotel. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm watching Spanish football. I said, oh, me, I don't want to watch Spanish. He said, you British people, Spanish football, I hope I'm going to come and let's watch. Then I'll be asking him that, but your players are wild stars. Why don't they play for Black Stars? I said, oh. My players cannot play Black Stars. Oh, they, but they do well. I sell them to Europe Second Division. It's not bad. Kwesi Techi was president of the Football Association. Not one of his players at Wild All Stars played for the Black Stars. Sly Tete was a member of the Football Association. I hear you, Neil Ante Van Der Poy. I hear you. But Sly Tete was a member of the Football Association. His players played for Black Stars. Name them. Michael Essien, Superstar. Sule Muntari, Superstar. Asamoah Superstar. Bafo Jan, Superstar. Slighted to produce superstar players. We are not saying that your players cannot play for black stars. That's why I say I hear you, Neil and Tevan Dapoy. But listen to this. We are not saying your players cannot play for black stars. But you're a football administrator. You know which player is good and which player is not good. Even me, I'm not a football administrator. I know that Baba Rahman is not good. I know. I'm not a football administrator. You are a football administrator. You, you, we know Asamoajan is good. We know Dede Ayu is good. We know Ashimero is great. But we know that Baba Rahman is not good. Not that he's bad, but he's not good for black stars and the standards we know. He can play something. After all, he played for Chelsea. Kwesi Techi didn't play one of his players. And because of Anas' pension and appetite for greed, 
and go and tell their man children that you make money from likes and ticks. The impudence. The impudence of it. These are the people who have destroyed Ghana football. Kisi Ajabi here, who has disgraced himself before the high court today. Him, he and Anas Ajab and Arimiya Anas, they have made Ghana football three empty circles. And we are looking for who? Keto Craig, what has he done? There's a GBC post today, maybe they'll show it, that are we looking for Kusinya Techi again? How can we, Ghana, since Ohini Jan, we have not been able to nurture any great football administrator up to the level of FIFA? Kwesi Nyantechi was the one who was getting there. And how did Kwesi get there? By dint of his own hard work. Kwesi became a lawyer. He was practicing with uh, Tadio Sorry. I think at, at some point, even Ambrose Derry. He would spend all his time at Galka. My friend, Tony Uso Mofami, he rest in peace. He introduced me to Kwesi Nyantechi because he, at that time, Galka's office was at the stadium. Every day, Kwesi Nyantechi is there. I say, ah, but the lawyer, the clubs are coming. The clubs have no money to pay him. They are bringing their cases to lawyer. The DFA display committee. Kwesi worked his way through Nyahota Maklo, the great Nyahota Maklo. He identified Kwesi Nyantechi and said, this guy can be GFA president. Nyahota Maklo. And that's how Kwesi Nyantechi became. Sir Blatter didn't know, know him. Sir Blatter met him and he fell in love with him. He said, Hayatu didn't know him. Hayatu met him and fell in love with him. Go and ask Kofi Amoa. Kwesi Nyantechi is the reason why we're able to hold Cannes 2008. At that time, Egypt wanted it. South Africa wanted it. Nigeria wanted it. Because of the contest of Kwesi Nyantechi, the tournament came to Ghana. We were great for it. And Anasis greed. Kisi Ajabi's greed. Their greed and appetite for criminality. They go and throw money at him. When the man has spent his money to come to Dubai, and you tell him that this is your money for the Dubai, they throw it at him, push show a film, and say that sack him. Greedy people. Greed. God will forgive them. Greedy people. God will forgive. You see, I'm coming to Kisi again. Oh, this is the only Kisi I'm doing tonight. He's disgraced himself in the high court today. Greedy people. It is the reason why we are suffering today. Because this man will have by now been executive member of FIFA. Perhaps the first African to become FIFA president. If Kwame Nkrumah had power, he would rise up from his grave and come and support Kwesi Techi to be FIFA president. But Kwame Nkrumah is dead. And the people who are alive today, who have the power, they are greedy for gra glass. Let me write it down. Glass, glass. These people, they want glass. Uh, <laughs> yes, glass, 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 glass factory. Glass. Glass factory. That's what their greed wants. Greedy people. These two people. Greed. Equalize them to glass factory. Greedy people. Wicked people. They just want to get fame without hard work. Put camera on yourself and get fame. As for Kisidiye, he will have questions to answer with his soul. Because Kwesi Techi was standing with him when he walked into the trap. Kwesi has told this story to a lot of people. Now that's not where the story ends. The greed we are talking about. There are people whose greed supported Anasis' greed. There are people who paid the money. That thing he says likes and takes. That's the question the German child was asking him. And he didn't know the question was going to come. Some of us knew that the question is going to come. And I let him. Anywhere he goes, we are planting questions for him. Because there's a tide coming after him. Anas, tell him. He did, we knew the question was going to come. We knew that that question would come. He didn't know. We have more questions. He should keep talking. Everywhere he goes, there'll be a question. You have to answer it. And he was stunned by the question and we were laughing. And he said, I, I get money from likes and takes. <laughs> As he got studio. As he got studio to get money from likes and takes. Dishonesty. Total dishonesty. That's who they are. That's who they are. These people, that's who they are. They walk around feeling that they can blackmail people and everybody should be afraid of them because if you are doing something wrong, they do the most wrong. Kisia Jabin. Do you know how much money? I'll say it again. Do you know how much money? Do you know how much money? Greedy people. Do you know how much money? And that's the Ghana that we are in. This is the Ghana that people have stood at uh, Labadi Beach Shore, 1975, praying for Ghana. Mr. Samoa, he was my teacher in Presec. Later, he became senior house master. Mr. Samoa has spent about 100 days of his life fasting and praying for Ghana, only for greedy people to destroy the country. Greedy people. Pentecost Church, Assemblies of God, they've been praying for Ghana since 1962. That Ghana will see the day of light. 
and we are still building up towards there. Then you have people like this, greedy people, lazy people, lazy. They can't apply themselves, so they have to do some phenomenon to get glass, glass factory, glass. That is them, glass factory. That's who they are. So when we are talking Ghana football today, it is the people we are looking to hang is these people, his teacher or is something, greed. Now they have some lady at the football association. The journalists have given me the information. I'm going to touch her next week because for us, we always want the information. Say we don't lose battle on this because we go, we don't fight with spears and swords. Come in the name of the Lord of hosts. So there's no battle that we we'll lose today. We have won the Cecilia Tapa battle. He said that he has been disgraced. I will come to that in a minute. How disgraced he was in the court and he's whitewashing it on media to say he has withdrawn. He hasn't withdrawn anything. He was disgraced. I come to that. They have brought a lady there. Kisia Dabi and Anas. They have brought a lady to the FA who is doing women's football. The amount of money that she's blowing, um, we are doing the audits. Holding hand back. You can tell her. She's a lawyer. I'm coming after her. I will show her that we've done this for 25 years. She will see. You think you can come and take tax? Go and do your law and make money. You are coming to thief tax payers when they are doing women's football. Women's football. Oh, I don't know why all the journalists call me. Say, boss, this one, you have to do something about it. Women's football lady, lawyer. Go and practice your law and make money. Don't come and touch taxpayers' money here. You, I will teach you a lesson. I will teach you a lesson. We have been doing this 25 years. Come, come. We'll see. We are doing it. It is Kisi Ajabi and Anas who have brought that lady there. He's holding hand bag. The amount of money, if you see it, you will be frightened. $16,000. He's going for conference. Ha! Next week. The Ghana football, we are coming to cut it into pieces. Dissect it in kitten, 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 kitten. Then we'll, everybody will hear. But the beginning is Anas and Kisi Ajabi.